Hi, Habibi here again in the video tutorial about creating car race game. In this part of my video tutorial series, I'm going to show you about how we can add a game over screen into this game. My idea is if our car is the player's car falls into these empty spaces i will make it uh, water so if my car if the player's car falls into the water this the game game over screen will appear so how do we do that here i will start by creating a plane object I'm going to use it as a water water surface. Let me scale it up. Maybe I drag it down a bit. Okay, it's good. Now I need to add a water texture on this. Let me open my internet browser. Um, never mind. I have already the te water texture image here on my working file, on my folder, on my desktop. So find a water texture and use it if you are following this tutorial. So. What I'm going to do is to drag this water texture and I'm going to drag it into this assets folder. Then I create a material. And use this water texture as albedo. And I change the shader into diffuse. And I drag this material. Let me rename it first. And drag it into the water. We can adjust the tiling here. Maybe I can change it into 10 by 10. 100 by 100 let me see how does this water look I think it's good now if I fall into this water nothing is happening I can drive on this water and it is impossible so what I'm going to do is to add a script into this water object. I'm going to create a script. I call it water script. Then open this script. Let's delete this part of the codes and I start with creating a public variable. The type of this variable is a game object and I name it car player car. To detect the collision of the, the collision, I mean to detect whether the car is colliding or touching the water or not, we use this script public. 
on Twitter, enter, collider, call, here what is going to be executed is this block of code when we collide with uh, some object, in this case the water object, so it, it should check what is the object we are colliding with if the collider if the object if the name of the object is water then here do something for example show game of a screen to open another scene, we need to we need to use the scene management. We need to use Unity Engine dot scene management. So, if we are colliding with the water object with that plane, it should start the game over scene, the game over screen. So, it should be calling this screen. Game over. There is many things we have to do. First is to, to name the plane object into this water. We should name the object to water. Here is the plane. I'm going to rename it as water. And the other thing is to create a new scene. I call it game over. Yes, game over. Let me copy this name and paste it here to replace the current name. The next thing is to attach this script, water script, into the car. Here is my car. I will attach it to the to this car itself. You can simply drag and drop this script. Let me check what is happening. I've made a mistake on this. Should change it into void. Okay, let's go back into the game and check it. Okay, it's corrected now. Let's go back to this car object. And find the uh, and find the uh, water script. Where is it? We need to drag it and drop it into this car. Then here inside this slot, we need to drag this car object into this one we can run the game let's test it
Okay, let's go into the water. Another thing we have to do is to select this water object and Another thing that we need to do is to remove this mesh collider on this water object and instead we add a box collider on it and check this is trigger a trigger checkbox. Save it and let's start again. <coughs> Let's go into the water. Nothing is happening. Let me check. The problem is because we didn't add the game over scene into the into the build. But we need to add something here, for example a text. So in this text, I'm going to write game over. Let me align it to the center of the screen. Make it on the center. And maybe increase this font size. Okay, it's fine. Go to the build setting and add this scene. We are okay. And let's go back to the main scene and start the game. Let's jump into the water. It's game over. Another thing we need to add here is the back button so we can go back into the game. So I'm going to open this game over scene and add a button. Here, I'm going to rename the button, the button text, to play again. We need to create a script for this button, so I'm going to create a script called button script. Open this script file let's delete this part and create this function public play play again again we are going to use this uh, unit engine same management just as before we are going to use this same management thing and here we are going to start the main scene Yes, we have correct spelling. So, if we click this button, it should uh, we should return back to the 
mention so we are we need to add this script into the into this button let me drag it into the button or let me drag it into this canvas object and here inside this on click event we add an event and drag this canvas into this slot then choose the button script and click this play again let's go back to the main scene and start the game let's go jump into the water it's game over now and if we click this button we should be able to play the game again here we go okay i think it is enough for this part of video tutorial series and I hope I can see you again later for the next tutorials to improve this game. Thank you for watching and see you soon.